Welcome along guys, back to the garage. The new bike, it's time for it to go under the knife already. As you know, GSXR build is more or less done now. We've got the carbon wheels on it. We've got the full Brox titanium system on it. We've got the cruise control, electronic cruise control from MC Cruise we fitted to it. Louis Moto, Louis Moto, seat cover. Lots of stuff on that bike. If you're interested in the GSXR, I'll put a link to the build series of the GSXR at the top. But we, there's a new girl in town, a new girl who needs some loving. <laughs> and this bike is not leaving the garage until it's got some paint protection on it. So, let's go. So in this episode, a couple of things I'm going to fit to the bike. First of all, as I mentioned, I've got some RNG second skin paint protection film. This is basically a pre-cut kit for the H2. They obviously do other bikes as well, but this is the H2 kit. So stone chip vinyl, basically, pre-cut for the bike for you to fit yourself because it can be very pricey if you go to a professional to get this installed. So this is RNG's DIY kit. So I'm going to give it a go and I am rubbish. <laughs> at stickers, at vinyl wrap. So if I can do this, anybody can. So the second skin kit, this is it, basically. Let's have a look inside. So you've got instructions of what to do it, you know, just to how to prep everything, really. You've got the actual film of stuff itself. You've got a little squeegee bottle with also, well, some fairy liquid or soapy fluid, which you add water to this. To, to spray on so you've got everything you need and a squeegee for working out the water and the bubbles and some alcohol wipes because everything has to be clean obviously before you start or you're going to trap muck underneath basically and all that so uh, and of course some uh, compulsory stickers so here's the bike looking uh, beautiful so i guess first of all is to give the bike a little wash down just to clean it up i think there's 20 or 30 i think it's about 30 different pieces of film to go on, you know, a little bit of film here, set up a bit of film here, because obviously it's in quite small pieces and strips because you, know, you, see, you can't bend over creases and stuff. So uh, yeah, so you've got all little bits to actually fit individual areas of the bike. Set up, I think I'll start on the mud guard. It seems sensible to start on the mud guard um, on an area which isn't quite as obvious. So I'm gonna start on that in case I do cock this up. If you look at the instructions, it, there's the map of the actual uh, what's what and then where it goes on the bike so i'm going to cut it all off on the sheet identify what's what and where it goes and then go from there find the mudguard pieces which i think is it eight seven eight around that area and then uh, identify them and then fit those first Those two bits are the front edges of the mud guard. Yes, yeah, so what I've also done, I've got just a bucket, or a jug of warm water, and a brand new sponge just to wash things down before I start. I've also bought myself my own spray of uh, alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol. So you get a little bit with the kit, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to do the whole bike, and I'm probably not going to be able to do the whole bike in one sitting. So that wipe's going to dry out once I start. So I bought one of these from eBay. It cost, I think it cost 11 quid. Um, worth having, just in case I need any more. I don't know how the camera's going to get on with this bike because it's so shiny. <laughs> Hello! Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare, but that's the first piece. So you can just about maybe make out the bit of protected film on the, on the backing piece. So this bit goes up around the mudguard here, up inside the mudguard there, I think. Or it could be this side. Yeah, that's it. That goes up like that. So there's a little piece goes in there. So I'm going to start with that. There's also a bigger piece which goes around this section, but I think I'll start with that little bit in there. Start easy, work my way up. Slap head. So I've already wiped it down with my own spray. So I'm going to just add a bit of water just to wipe off. Because uh, obviously the alcohol will get rid of any wax, any protective oily coatings. But with the... With the uh, microfiber cloth I used. I left a bit of hairs, you know, a few little hairs which you don't want to get under the film. So just a bit of water will wash off any of those hairs which I put down with my microfiber. Must be a shitty microfiber because it shouldn't have any hairs on it. 
Now using the spray with the bit of uh, solution which they've provided, I'm going to spray that down, spray, peel this off the backing film, spray front and back and position it over there and then using the squeegee work out any bubbles out of it. As it's quite small I'm hoping this is going to be not too quite easy this little bit, I am hope, because I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> so let's see, this could be a complete disaster. <laughs> also serves to keep your fingers wet. Beautiful! Nice! So there's your tools of the trade. So just to recap what I've learned after doing the mudguard. First of all, clean things down with the alcohol. Either the wipe provided, which I don't think would be enough to do the whole bike in all honesty. So get yourself some uh, some more alcohol. Uh, £11 from eBay. Your liquid, which comes with the kit, which I just, you just fill with water. A sponge and water just to wet stuff down. Once, once you've cleaned it with the alcohol, wet it down in case there's any bit of dust or fluff come off your microfiber. So that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Once you've got it on, a bit of hair dryer just to set the adhesive on the uh, on the film. So it says either a hair dryer or a heat gun, obviously, but not too hot. Just give it a gentle bit of heat just to set the glue. Because I've got a little bit here. Oh, it's trying to just rise a little bit. It's not setting me down. I'm hoping a bit of heat will get it to sit properly. Oh, Back to the old faithful. Mudguard done. Very happy with how it's gone. Even a complete sticker noob idiot like me has managed a pretty pucker job. Let's have a closer look. There it is, fitted. You can just about see... Oh, it's, it's very hard to get this to focus with this mirror finished paint. You can just see very lip of it there, tiny lip of it here. You can just see the slight lip of it around there. And it's got lovely little cutouts around the bolt holes. See a slight cutout around there. I'm very impressed with that. Actually, you can see it down here and down this edge here look, along the bottom. And it's even got a piece to, which sits right in the bottom here. But I'm really happy with the job it's done. It's not too bad. Take your time. Keep your fingers wet. And then you don't get any. So I did find I had a few on one little bit the other side here, tiny little fingerprints where my, where my fingers weren't wet enough when I peeled it off. So keep your fingers wet, plenty of water, take your time, and you can do it. Now I'm going to do the front end. I'm going to do the front end. wants to lift so it's a case of just getting it around bends and stuff is a bit tricky and into these it's got a heavy crease along there. Fingers wet, more water.
well that's the whole front end down the little scoops down all this area down it must be about oh, I don't know how many pieces there are eight or nine pieces on here and it, and, it, and it just you can barely see it and it's gone on really well I'm I'm so happy and I really don't know why I haven't done this on my bikes before obviously if you do it when the bikes are new before it gets stone chipped <laughs> that's the best time to do it but I guess you can do it at any time but uh, it would be interesting to see how this holds up over time but in this, this bit here I mean I've had a tiny I've had a tiny little bit of mark there's a little, tiny little mark there where something's just damaged the film slightly as I've been doing it really hard to see but even that looks a damn sight better than a stone chip you know what I mean so yeah I'm really happy well that's it guys all done all fitted there's also some pieces which go on the back of the bike but I'm showing all that you know it's the same process there's nothing on the tank unfortunately I could do as tank protection but there's bits that go on the back to protect the back end when you, you get on and off the bike and you scuff the tail and stuff like that so it's a really comprehensive kit allow yourself four or five hours for installation it takes quite a while to get it installed because you have to take your time you cannot rush it go to RNG's website I'll put a link below um, you can see the range of bikes they cover with this kit but it's impressive very happy to have it on my bike to know that I've got protection. So when you hear those, those stones hitting the front of your bike, you're thinking, oh, my film, do your job. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I will fit the tail tidy and some other bits and bobs to go on the bike. That'll be another episode now. This one's ran on long enough. So I'll quit my rambling. Leave me a like. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing lots of stuff with the H2, the H2, the H, the H, the H2. The H2. It's pronounced H, not H, H. This is power level one, which is full power.